This is Twit. Uh, Apple put out a big emergency update yesterday <laughs> to iOS and macOS. I rushed when I read about it, the rapid security update, rapid security response update. I rushed to my iPad and my iPhone and my Mac to download it, and it was gone. They pulled it. How fast did they pull it? Was it like 10 minutes? It feel, feels like... I think it was much less than an hour, I think. It was very quick. And the reason being, what, that it broke some websites. Uh, according to reports uh, on Mac Rumors forums and on Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and WhatsApp, Zoom, and other websites started giving a warning about not being supported on Safari. Uh, oops. Yeah, it was a zero day, actually an active zero day. That's a little concerning uh, in WebKit. Um, but they yeah. did apparently change the Safari user agent to identify it as patched with a parenthesis, a parenthesis. And some websites, which were, I think, I honestly, you want to blame the website who are looking specifically at the user agent said, no. <laughs> Yeah, but but when when Facebook and Instagram like are inaccessible after an update, that's not Facebook and Instagram problem. That's I guess your problem if you yeah. pushed out an update like that. Yeah, um, yeah, but that's also why all the browser info is not real because everybody lies yeah. about it because yeah. they want to maintain compatibility. Right. And it's like like Mozilla, right? They're all like Mozilla. Um, and so, I mean, I get it, but it's weird that whatever string, they should have tested, right? Well, let's change the string. Oh, it breaks everything. We can't change the string. And that's a that's a, a mistake. I was going to make a joke here that their rapid security response obviously <laughs> means that it's only out there. It's very limited rapid. time. You have very little time. <laughs> so limited get time. Get it quick. Are, are you gonna are you gonna miss it? I just but missed it, uh, and I felt I felt at a loss. I, was I mean, you're gonna prioritize the zero day over maybe some last minute testing of things like user string, you know, agent yeah. strings in your web browser. But whoops! So I guess it's yeah, a testament that, to how urgent they felt it was. Right? They saw it yeah. was active in the wild. They go, oh, sh "Crap, we got to fix this," and they didn't ha they didn't have time to test it. Uh, the user agent is how the browser identifies itself to sites it visits. And you can see, you know, as you said, there's a lot of most browsers lie and say they're Mozilla <laughs> <laughs> just for compatibility reasons. And apparently these websites were looking, they saw Safari and they saw then parenthesis A parenthesis said, oh. Oh dear. I don't know about you. Oh, what ah, is this? Ah, I won't serve anything. Ah, no. Which is not the right response either. Um, I guess Apple Apple's probably doing the right thing because they, of course, they could have just taken the A off and shipped it. <laughs> and I guess they decided not to do that. Apple says uh, they will. it will be a, a, res, a response which has a parenthesis B in it will be available soon to address the <laughs> issue. So, okay. That's, that's way more serious than a, than that moth that, so that, that, that Admiral Grace Hopper put uh, found. That's, this is a bug, serious. baby. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but at least but at least now it's it's easy to like revert for uh, like a rapid security update like in in the olden days like once you updated apple was like why would you right. ever want to undo an update that's so right. because the i mean the first time something like this happens and you're stuck with the problem until apple fixes it that's when people like by default say i'm not going to trust a security update until everybody else is it's until the end of the month when i don't need to use this mac for anything and that's when it's most critical to actually apply these damn yeah things. this is the one you really want and you want to apply right yeah. away apple has a page uh Support page HT213827. If you applied rapid security response iOS 16.5.1 parenthesis A, uh, here's how to roll it back. And it turns out you can just go into settings and remove it. Yeah. On the Mac, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to go to about this Mac, then more information. Under Mac OS, click the info button next to the version number, click remove and restart. Click to confirm. Much easier on iOS. There's a remove security response entry in the version uh, yeah. settings. So. I do th I do think that was a negotiated piece inside of Apple, deciding that if we are going to push these things out without an, an immense amount of testing, we need to make, I, I will approve this so long as there's a way to undo it in case the, the patch creates more problems than it solves. Yeah. And I, I could really see there being an argument about saying, hey, we can't, we, we can't do this without having a, a real good system in place. Oh, hey, that's a really nice iPhone you have there. You totally picked the right color. Hey, since you do use an iPhone and maybe use an iPad or an Apple Watch or an Apple TV, well, you should check out iOS today. 
It's a show that I, Micah Sargent, and my co-host Rosemary Orchard host every Tuesday right here on the Twit Network. It covers all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, Watch OS, iPad OS. It's all the OSs that Apple has on offer. And we love to give you tips and tricks about making the most of those devices, checking out great apps and services, and answering your tech questions. I hope you check it out. <laughs> 